Hello everyone, today we're going to be discussing how the internal and external structures of plants and animals help them survive in the wild. In the wild, animals and plants need as many tools as they can find to help their survival. Sometimes these tools come naturally. Many animals and plants have internal and external structures to help them survive. What is an internal structure? Internal structures are the things inside an animal or plant to help them survive. Some examples for animals would be that fish use gills to help them breathe underwater, skunks have glands to scare away prey, and squids have ink to blind prey. So what about plants? Some plants are poisonous, so animals don't eat them. Some are spicy to prevent the same thing. Other times, plants want animals to eat them to carry their seeds around so these plants might be extra tasty. How do external structures help animals survive? Many external structures animals use are used to get away from prey or to blend into their environment. Here in Utah, we have many porcupines. These animals use their sharp quills to poke their predators if they come under attack. Bees will sting things if they fear something will harm them, and snakes can use their rattle to scare things away. Another way animals can use their external structures to survive is by using camouflage. Animals often share colors with their environment. Here in Utah, we see deer everywhere, but where they are most camouflaged is in the mountains. Some animals like chameleons can even change colors to match their environments. What kind of external structures do plants use for survival? Some plants like roses use thorns to get animals away from them. Other plants use bright colors on their fruits to confuse animals into thinking they might be poisonous. Some plants even eat bugs. Venus flytraps use their traps to lure insects in. Once they land on their trap, there is no going back and the plant will start to digest the bug. Now let's briefly summarize what we have learned today. Today we learned that the internal and external structures of animals and plants help them survive. We learned that animals and plants have internal tools to keep predators away. We learned that animals and plants have external tools to protect themselves such as spikes or bright colors. Thanks for watching! What is an important internal or external structure you have to help with survival?